Yeah, so what are the advantages of uh, or if you are comfortable with disadvantages, you can give me the disadvantages of organizing a company by function. By function or by product? So give me an advantage or a disadvantage of organizing a company by function or a product or uh, what is a customer an advantage or disadvantage of organizing a company by function or product or custom or job right. Why is it important 
for company structures to evolve as the company grows. Mm -hmm. Number two, why is it important for a company structure to evolve as the company grows?
I'm still looking at the next thing. Yeah, so uh, organization structure helps in putting right men 
from the right job. We can be done by selecting people for various departments. If you are putting the right name on the right job, it can be done by selecting people for various departments according to their qualification, skills, and experience. This is helping in defining the job properly, which clarifies the goal of each person. So, organization is the means of creating coordination among different departments in an organization. So, it is the means of creating coordination among different departments of the enterprise. The roles could be performed by different managers and clarified. Specialization will be achieved with vision of work. So, what is being So you need to understand the total weight, um, the 
identify who used the vote. So you need to identify the social workers, um, identify the use of the vote. So the work must be systematically classified to each person in the organization to be a separate or specific task. So this enables um, managers to concentrate on more than that. It would also avoid overlapping of activities. So that is identifying the work. We need to identify the work. And then look in the way. So looking the way, the vision of way creates the need for coordination. So generally those related activities are put together. Divided and division are created based on this and these are for managers in direction. So um for this case you group the way, then closely related that these are put together and then uh, you form departments according to um, the related work. For example, managing uh, activities are put together and then you form the management department. HR activities mm -hmm. are put together and then you form the human resource department. Did you check on student 12 and you didn't find the note? 